5.7 magnitude earthquake shakes much of Northern California. It's the largest quake in the state since 2008. The moderate sized earthquake was centered just west of Greenville right here. That's in Plumas County, about 150 miles northeast of Sacramento. The quake hit at 847 last night and it was felt in three states up into Oregon, over in Nevada, and some say they fell it as far south as San Francisco. More than four dozen aftershocks followed the largest aftershock, 4.9 magnitude, 600 customers lost power, a water main broke in the area. No injuries were reported, but a handful of homes in the area did suffer moderate damage. Check it out. This kitchen lost lots of items in the cabinets. It lost a plate, some glasses as well. Salt cooking oil, you see it right there. Meanwhile, glass decorations falling off a display shelf. And look at that. All those items off and a rear windshield was even shattered during the earthquake. You also can see a noticeable crack in this wall, fairly long. A homeowner here called this thing quite a shaker. A picture fell from the wall, couple of them actually. We also got a still photo emailed to us from a home in Al Manor. Here that is, this is about 50 miles west of the quake. You can see broken dishes here as well. Experts saying small aftershocks will likely continue for about a week or so. Well, shaking from that Greenville quake was also felt in and around nearby Lassa National Park. That's where a volcano erupted back in 1915, according to the U.S. Geological Survey. We asked a USGS seismologist whether the earthquake last night and the aftershocks which followed could trigger volcanic activity in the region. So as we watch earthquake behavior around the globe, what we see is sometimes earthquakes, obviously they send out shockwaves that people can feel and they can destabilize areas. They can also impart some small stress changes that can induce earthquakes nearby. So we're monitoring uh, the situation in Lassen. We've advised the park to be on the lookout at these, particularly for the thermal springs that could change the behavior of those springs. Obviously there are going to be a lot of people there this weekend. It's a holiday weekend. We have haven't seen any seismicity at Lassen or at Shasta that would uh, give us any uh, concern, but we're, we're watching it. Mm -hmm. So the quake occurred here. Oppenheimer says that small, shallow earthquakes in and around the park would be a warning sign of a possible eruption, but so far none has occurred. He says the scenario is in uncharted territory because there are no case studies on that subject in that area.